So now that I have all the pieces cut out on the different pages, I am going to have to glue them all down. So let's start with let's start with being successful. Let's see. Be successful. And when I think about being successful, I'm thinking about my Etsy shop. So I have my shut the fridges on here for my Etsy shop. You know, shop now. That's not for me to shop, but that means for your shop to work for my Etsy shop to to actually blossom. Um, that's going to take some time, but that's what I want from from that manifestation right there. And then for my channel to manifest a thousand subscribers, I need to be feeling like, you know, I'm a winner. I'm on a journey here, a journey to 1,000. So let's put that on here somewhere. Journey. to 1k that's my journey this is my etsy shop etsy success that's what i want for that and then i want to just be successful at work i want to uh be powerful and when i see this picture of this this suit here this picture here this makes me feel somehow this makes me feel powerful you I have that there, so that's going to be on my board. Uh, that makes me feel powerful. Um, I have a crown, so it's a crystal crown because, you know, you got to be the boss. And when you're winning, you're just surrounded by beautiful things. So I'm putting that on here. I have a crown and roses. I have a young lady. She's the boss. She got her feet up on the desk. She's surrounded by wonderful things. Like people are proud of her and they celebrate her. And success is the key. So success goes down here. This is success. This is what I see in my brain when I see success. You winning. You just, you winning. That's how it works. So I'm trying to fit everything in. The way I want it. So we're going to glue everything down. Just like this. Okay. So I have everything glued down. And this is my success. This is my successful page. This is part of my journey. And so. I've been talking about a collaboration. With a few other. Uh, with a few other YouTubers. And. I'm trying to get on the road. We got to get to this 1K subscribers. We got to get my Etsy shops being successful. I want to be the boss of my life. I want to run. I want to be that she girl, that girl power. Crowns and flowers and people just surrounded celebrations of success. Money. You have to have this manifestation. This is what I'm manifesting for me because I don't want to hold back. I want to be blessed. I'm tired of being tired. Basically, um, at my, I'm on the downside, or I should say maybe even on the upscale of life. I've hit that 50 mark and I have nowhere to go but up. And that's what I'm trying to do. So this is my be successful. This is my successful page. Now let's work on, in order to get successful, we have to eliminate this debt. So I have these things on here that I want. I want to pay off my credit cards. I want to eliminate debt. I want to become a hybrid cash stuffer. This is stuff that I want to do. So I have different things on here to manifest that. I have the money that's manifesting. I ha I want to move to a better uh, place in my life. So I have moving boxes in a bright area. I have money 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 all you can do is just manifest that money i have a passport here because i do want to travel i want to get out of this rut that i'm in i got to pay off this debt that's the first thing i got to do so maybe i should put this at the top i got to pay off these debts that's what you need to do you got to pay these debts off to get to these to the better things in life and you know that's what i need to do so this is my my um my eliminate my i have to eliminate the debt 
to be successful. You have to get rid of your past. You have to eliminate those things, the, those that baggage that's holding you down from being successful. You have to get rid of that. And that right now, these credit cards are, are nothing but heavy bags. They heavy bags and they holding me back from doing the things that I want to do. So in order to do these things, to be successful, I have to eliminate this debt. So I have to pay off the debt. I have my passport. I have my boxes packed. I got my money. When this thing, when when I eliminate all of these, the, eliminate these debts, that's what I have to focus on. So this is my focal point for that. And that is what I'm going to go ahead and glue these down. Okay, so I went ahead and glued these down. This is part of my uh, vision board. And I'm doing this vision board as a, co a collaboration or I should say as a sort of a ode to sit on a budget. Sit on a budget. She is one of the one of the inspira in inspiring individuals that I met along this journey. Her along with the budget and student, they always been my cheerleaders since day one. When I started, the budget and student was the very first one to leave me a message. And it brings tears to my eyes at this moment that um, she she still motivates me to this day, as well as Sin. Every time Sin sends me a message, it's something that's, you know, that I can laugh or she makes me smile and she gives me that motivation in a fun way. And, um, you know, the budgeting student is so sweet. She always has, seems like she's always there for me to cheer me on. And to keep me motivated on doing the things that I feel like I need to do to be successful. So this was sent on a budget. She had, she thought of doing a vision board on her channel. And I thought that was like really something really cool. And I'm down with it. So this is my version for her. I have a four page, um, I have a four page vision board but I am going <laughs> I am going to take my pages together and I will be putting them on my bedroom wall so that before I go to bed every day I will see these things to keep me motivated okay so I have the success I have the debt elimination now once you get successful and once you eliminate debt and you are successful now you get to do things you want to do you get to travel I want to go to Japan so freaking bad like i want to see beautiful sunsets from high top towers with freaking views that are just so beautiful they make your heart swell i just want to do that i want to i want to sit on sandy beaches with palm trees and just let my toes go through the sand like i want to do these things this is what i manifested for myself i want to be able to just spin the globe and go where i want to be able to go without even thinking about it first class first class let me write that on here first class travel because i want to travel first class that's what I want to be able to do. I want to travel first class. And with the money that I'm manifesting back here, I'll be able to travel first class, travel the world, see stuff. My first stop is Japan. Then I want to go to some island here. Like, I have to have an island vacation. Like, I want to be able to just sit on a beach somewhere and sip on a Mai Tai and just get hot. I don't know. Burn up. in this. I don't know. <laughs> I just want to... I'm feeling it like I'm smelling the sea and the, the salt and the water and the beautiful blue waters. Like I've been there. I've been to Hawaii and places like that. But I want to go this time on my own. Like I want to just be able to just do it when I feel like it. Hey, like, hey, on the spur of the moment, Michelle, she she's successful. She want to jump on a plane first class and go to an island somewhere and just, you know, that's what I'm doing for vacation. After I, you know, I'm the boss of my own company. I got stuff going on here. You know, I want to be able to do those things. So this is something that I manifested for myself as far as when after I get out of the debtful situations that I'm in. You know, I'm manifesting travel. I really want to go to Japan. Like that's one of my dreams and I am manifesting that on here. So let's put that on here. Let's get my little island theme going and once i glue these down guys i will be right back okay so that's my travel first class travel the world tour japan have island vacations flights 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 i just want to put flights i just want to be able to have go on flights like that's what i want i want to fly 
I don't want all this road trip. Road trips is cute, but Michelle is tired of driving. She wants some, she wants to fly through life. I want to be up high. I want to be above the world, looking down and seeing everything from up high. I want to, I want to have that manifestation where I can just get in, get, get in my pocket and get a first class ticket to where I want to be. So that's my manifestation for that. And now the last thing in order to have all of this to be successful to to pay off the debt to be successful to travel that would be all null and void if i wasn't healthy so the next page of my of my vision is manifestations is healthy i have to eat healthy make healthier choices i have to eat healthier i have to exercise and i'm not going to even play myself i'm it's baby steps. Like, um, I'll be walking. I might do some yoga. I might, you know, cut out the salty foods and cut back on the sugary snacks and do stuff like that. But Michelle is not going to put herself out there and talk about she's going to lose. I'm going to lose like 400 pounds and be skinny as a real. Oh, no. I'm good with the way I look. I just feel like I need to stay on, be healthier, make healthier choices. Um, you know, get out and move more, move more, uh, you know, put a little vegetable in your life. Like <laughs> I need to put a little bit of vegetables in my life. Like I got to get, get things, you know, go in here and keep healthier lifestyle, just a healthier lifestyle. And ain't nothing wrong with that. I, especially at my age, I really need to keep a healthier lifestyle at my age. Like that's just something you have to do. There is no reason why I can't have a healthier lifestyle. It's just, you know, it's got to be in the cards. You have to be healthy to go on all these trips and travel and all that. If you're unhealthy, how are you going to do all this stuff? You can't do all this stuff to tour in Japan and stuff. And you got diabetes and you got to take medications and you got you can't move because you got frozen shoulder because you ain't exercising. Like you got to walk. You got to get out there. And I. I just put my headphones on and my neighborhood is not the best neighborhood, but you find that time during the day where everybody is still in the house and you just walk, just walk, walk until you, I have a Fitbit. So I just walk until it beeps and then I go back in. I know I have to work. I work from home. So I am blessed with that. So I can take and go out real, you know, in the mornings. I don't work until later in the evening. So I can go out in the mornings when everybody is already at school, when everybody done took off to go to work. And I can go ahead and um, just walk. And I try to do at least a mile. I was doing it late the year before, um, before all this COVID stuff happened. And then when COVID was uh, slowed down a little bit, I started to go back out there walking early to avoid people. But now I, I got the time and situation down, I believe. And I'm going to go back to making healthier choices and doing better things for my health. So that is something that you have to do this part. And it's weird that all my things connect because if, you, if you're successful and you, you eliminate your debt and you become successful and you want to do all these things, you can't do it if you're unhealthy. So all of my pages do connect. And like I said, this was um, a project that sent on a budget, decided that she was going to do for her channel. So I went ahead and said, hey, that's a great idea. I made one. I manifested myself um, a vision book last year, but I think I need a board because with a with a board, you can look at it daily and you can see it like it's right there in your face. So this is what you look at before you go to sleep at night. And I'm gonna hang it right on my wall because I want to manifest these things. This is what I, I need right now. Like I need this. And in order to manifest it, it has to stay on your mind. If this stuff is not on your mind, you won't manifest, it won't come. You have it's a it's a whole it's a whole brain thing. Like it's a whole brain thing. So if I can zoom out. So yeah. So I have all of the pages here. And this is what I have for my vision board. And I am going to put this up on the wall, like I said. 
and this will be the last thing I see before I go to bed and the first thing I see when I wake up in the morning so again sin like I said you're always there motivating me and this is even more motivation just goes to show that you meet good people along the way of this journey and I appreciate you and um the budgeting student as well like I said you were the first one that ever reached out to me so I feel like I need to broadcast this and let you girls know that you helped me and everybody who gives me any opinions or any comments in the and I listen and I I reply to every one of you guys' comments. I accept all opinions. I accept everybody. There's no one that will get turned away. If um, you come in with your negativity, I will just take it as a grain of salt because there's always going to be some negativity in your life that you just have to, you know, you just have to know how to turn that negative into a positive. And I'm learning that as I go along the way. Like I said, I'm 50. I'm trying to retire and matter of fact, let me write that on here. I'm trying to retire debt free. So I want a, a debt free retirement. Retire debt free. Yes, like put it out there. Put those words out there. Make a vision board. I mean, it's fun. And it and it works. Because it's it's all about your brain. It's all about your brain. Your brain focuses. And you think, you know, you go to bed with all this stuff on your mind. You don't, you have all of the thoughts of your day and the bills and the kids and your, and your significant others and your relationships and your money and you can't pay this and you got to route Peter to pay Paul and you can't do that trip this year because, you know, this and that and a third. And you sometimes it's just hard to rest your brain. So if you give your brain something that better to focus on, you'll have a better outcome and that's just how vision boards work so i'm going to hang this baby up on the wall so like i say at the end of all my videos i'll see you seeing me retraining my brain on this vision board daily to motivate myself and to keep uh life moving in a better way and guess what holla <laughs>